welcome happy new year to you Pi um capricorn what am i saying pisces happy new year capricorns happy birthdays to all you capricorns who are going to be um celebrating your birthday in january i want to say happy birthday and if you're receiving this before um your birthday in december happy birthdays to you I want to say to each and every one, okay, this is the change of the game for you Capricorns. This is your lucky here, Capricorns. Whatever is transpiring and happening, Capricorns, this is your lucky here. I want to say thank you to all the Capricorns who have been with me um, for all these years. Thank you. I am sorry and I must apologize to the Capricorns who were buying the extended from off my website. But because of the changes on YouTube, you have to um, connect with my channel so you can access the monthly um, extended. And I'm so sorry, my apologies, but I had no idea that I wouldn't be able to place um, the extended on my website anymore, but only in YouTube. So my really, my apologies to you guys, okay? So if you... Uh, um take a the super extended because we have three membership the first membership is uh, the extended so um not all the extended you will um receive the um medium and uh, um membership is uh, for all the monthly extended all the full moon extended all the love extended but as you go to the super extended, you receive the year extended, the quarterly extended. It's so much, okay? And you can um, speak to me four times by super chat per month with the super extended. And that's why it's called super extended because um, we do live. We can do live session and you can connect with me four times per month via the super chat for only 20 minutes and I can answer question and we can communicate. So that's why there is a super um, membership, super membership extended. So with a super membership extended is so many things because you can just um, connect via to send me a mail when you'd like to connect on YouTube and then we can talk about whatever the issue is for an extended reading and I advise everyone who does the super extension because these are general reading it is good to order your personalized reading because I think a lot of people are taking the extended but sometimes it's better to have a personalized reading then you work each month because I because what people do not understand is that the general reading can affect you but maybe it's not affecting you in that month or in that time span and these are why my readings are um timeless okay so whenever you decide to uh, pick something like you go on your membership and you're going to pick something to listen you need to listen to that message because your spirit guide is pushing you to listen to that message and there you're going to be receiving information but what is good is good for you guys to order your birthday readings order your um year reading and together with the extended is going to be helping you okay because the extended those are also general reading there were not program for each and every person because for the persons who all the read them from me you know that these are programs to you as a person okay all right so if there's any question now um just connect uh, i told you guys this is your here look at what comes out in january capricorn it's your own energy vibration and this is saying capricorns you have been going through a whole lot um saturn is moving out of your house capis and the empress the venus uh, the the um yeah venus uh, the mother of love the empress is bringing you not only love but she is bringing you financial abundance so capis january is going to bring you so much luck um, unbelievable luck that is going to be coming in in the month of February a water energy not to worry about this 
because what is transpiring is just news is coming in in February whatever the issue the situation is it is just news that is coming in in February and what is here and what is transpiring is that you could be receiving um, news about uh, um, extra money information whatever the news that is coming in in February is definitely definitely going to be helping you in the month of March I see justice is on your side and this is good because this is an air energy the year is the energy of uh, the eye princess the female the 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 female counterpart of the omega the omega is the zero it is the new star that is the universe the source of all thing is the omega okay and here what is happening capricorn that in the month of march you capricorns what is transpiring is that justice is coming up in the month of march so in the month of february um you could be hearing about this your first quarter is really really looking wonderful because the energy of um uh, the energy of the empress you start off uh, the energy of the empress is absolutely absolutely beautiful so you know you have earth you have water and you have air in the first quarter January is the perfect month to do something whatever is transpiring in March and February we're going to be seen but you have hurt water and here in the first quarter this is looking good now April is the month where the energy of the ego comes out be aware of what is transpiring in April be balanced be aware be understanding what is happening in April you will have to be on top of your games in April that is where the energy of negative energy is coming in but in May the energy of the star comes congratulations so whatever that you were dealing with in the month of uh, April in May congratulations because you're getting over this you are coming out being very successful against a negative energy negative forces that was transpiring um, with you in the month of uh, of April okay so you are dealing with some lower form of energies people situation outside forces coming at you in April but in May you are successful um, coming out of this in May okay in May you're successful coming out of this as we look at June another wonderful energy I see the energy of the air effect this is an earth energy so in the first six months Capricorn you're being balanced out because the Empress is here and you're ending the first six months with another earth energy that is the energy of and organization institutions so some of you could be balancing out of a situation some of you could have been dealing with issues some of you could be starting your business in the month of June so congratulations to you um um, um Capricorns the first and um, the second quarter the only energy you have to contemplate with is the energy of the ego in the month of April but May and June is looking fabulous is looking fantastic as we move in July congratulations again comes up your energy Capricorn so July is looking good so you're starting the third quarter with the energy of uh, and the world and the energy of the world is where um archangel michael archangel gabriel saint germain and archangel zachiel and archangel michael that bring the purple energy is coming in to end a cycle end a cycle where you were dealing with negative forces okay and this is going to be good because this is happening in the month of um the third quarter the first month in the third quarter so whatever is happening and transpiring I see that what is transpiring is that you have some situations to deal with okay you really have some situations to deal with 
and what is happening and what is transpiring I am seeing you coming over all of these situations I am seeing you coming over all these situations and it is really really wonderful because what is happening and transpiring as I say um, your energy is coming in now fire energy um, this is the second fire energy that is coming up and this is the energy of um, finding inner strength to move forward but I see you have that inner strength because you're jumping like a Cheeto I see you springing like a Cheeto and this is going to be fabulous it's going to be fantastic because in the month of August I see you springing like a Cheeto whatever that was happening and transpire I see you coming out and with that Cheeto energy woo so that um, third quarter is looking up as we look at um, September a uh, healing is coming in and I know the eye princess would have come up in your reading this is the divine feminine I knew she would have come up because uh, you are a spiritual person and I see that this year with all the luck and everything that is coming up you have the energy of moving forward but you still need inside guidance and you need your spirit guides to be there with you on this new journey because they have created this Jupiter in your sign it is um, Jupiter comes in people's sign every 70 um, seven years um, for some of us um, but for some of us is nine it depends on who you are it depends on which solar system so Jupiter is in your year this year and I Prince is your spirit guides is here guiding you forward and this is going to be good so that's a water energy so you have hurt fire and water you guys are the first one that I see in every quarter different different air signs different um zodiac elements were coming up most people have the two of the same in a quarter but you guys are really 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 um fantastic coming in so what is happening here is that uh, in the month of october you're hitting it this is the energy of the the year in the month of October, ladies and gentlemen, Capricorns, you are eating this. And I, I say you're you're eating this like you never ate it before, okay? You are eating this like you never ate this before because you're on to a new start. You're on to a new start, and this is going to be good as we look at november victory and success some of you could be buying a new car some of you could be relocated in november some of you could be going on vacation in but you are victoriously because there is a new start in october and this new start is making you very victorious and successful coming out of a period so beautiful so wonderful and you're moving forward with such a power and this is good wow okay okay Capricorns the last but not least yes Capricorn oh yes oh yes baby girls mm, mm, mm. Success is yours in December 2020. So the energy of the sun comes out, and ladies and gentlemen, I do not um place my cards, but no, I do it on camera. And I said to you guys, it's gonna be a successful year, okay? And this is why I said to everyone, order birthday reading and order a year reading because in the months of your birthday the year readings will balance you out so trust me Capricorn you will be on top of your game and having the extended for the months oh Capricorn nothing can stop you in this year use all the your birthday readings all the, the year 2020 reading because it's different than your birthday readings and the astro clocks is going to come out so you know we're in every house that things are going to um, affect you and as you do that ladies and gentlemen and take the super extended uh 
you'll be on top of your games eating it success is yours congratulations capricorn you guys have been going through so much i swear oh being born as a capricorn is not very easy ladies and gentlemen all right it's it's um and it's the less amount of people that is born on this planet is capricorns yep because capricorns uh, are very special um they are governed by the empress and that is venus of love and that's why when capricorns they love they love deeply now right now there is no love coming in and i did advise you capricorn that this year for you capricorn it was all about making the money uh this year 2020 is all about you making the money all right there is going to be for the people who have the super extended you can pick up your extended love reading for the year um 2020 but what is transparent is only the extended reading um for the love reading but it's there is it's, it's, it was not um acquired um where the capricorns uh, was going to be having um uh, love in this year okay it's all about you um healing yourself moving forward you're making things happen you're building your empire and um that is what it's all about for capricorn okay i'm taking this so you guys can see your um what is coming up so um it is uh, so wonderful capricorn i'm so happy you end the year with the energy of the sun which is a uh, just so powerful um you're having a new start so your third period um your three last months october november and december for you capis is going to be the best okay so you begin the, the year january is going to be the best month okay march is going to be the best month um may june um july may june july and then um <laughs> october november and december bam bam that's your best quarter the three last months the first month of um 2020 and um may june so the only months and which i can better say this um, the third quarter is just fantastic. The third quarter is the month and the quarter that just fantastic. Okay. So what we're having here is just April is uh, February, April, um, February, April, and, uh, um, Ooh, February, uh, February, April, stand your ground with uh, whatever is happening in your life, stand your ground with a situation that is playing out in your life stand your ground okay no matter what is happening okay so let's go in and see what is happening so in the month of january going into february i see your burdens will be over so some of you were carrying some burdens from uh 2019 january end of january into february your burdens is going to be over so congratulations capricorn remember to go pick up your extended by super extended then i see um a situation that some of you are dealing um february march dealing with um a fire sign it could be a fire sign or you could be the person but you're dealing with someone because i'm seeing justice so end of february going into march i see justice come up on a fire sign person this is someone who was working in a government institute organization whoever this person is um this person has done something because it's not you it could be some of you 45 years and older that has uh, overgone your your overgone um your step okay and i see justice coming down so i'm seeing some of you having some legal issue with a fire sign person and this is coming up end of february going in 
March because that's when you're going to be receiving information about a fire sign person and a legal issue that is going on. You could be doing it or it could be some of you who have done, but it is not you because some people always said, oh yeah, you're vibrating with the energy. No, you're not fire. You're Capricorn. So you're dealing with that person. Okay. I see you victoriously and successfully coming over an issue with some deceptive situation that was transpired. This is the energy of the chariot. This is you overcoming that devil that um, 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 negative energy, negative forces in the month of April going in May. I see you overcoming this very deceptive situation that has transpired. So in the month of April, which is one of the your um one of the months that is not looking that good for you guys, um, you had an issue with outside forces, negative influence, and you're victoriously coming over this situation as you move from old April in May. May in June, I see all the lies and deceptiveness that was happening. The truth came out. So there was an organization. There was a lot of lies and deceptiveness. I see this coming out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go. Where the truth, the lies are coming out that an older Aries woman has created. So an older Aries woman, 45 years and older, justice came down on her because of some lies and deceptiveness that she has created. This woman is an, a lawyer or someone that works for an institute organization, a corporation, a huge corporation. She had lied and created some deceptive things. And I see justice came down on her and you are going to be successful because you have the energy of the star um, and the organization coming and the lies and deceptiveness is coming out you are going to be victoriously overcoming this and seeing this in the third quarter so um this situation kind of begins in february where a, an investigation um because the balance between you and this person it could be a mother figure it could be a friend a girlfriend that you had a legal issue with it could be someone in a corporation organization but i see that they're they're investigating this person and i see your this person was deceptive and deceptively done something and i see the evil and the injustice is coming out okay i i see in the month of uh, um july going in august you have no regrets you're like I have no regrets. You should not have done this. Okay. So whatever has transpired with you and this, whatever that was transpiring, because I'm seeing you, you ladies, you people are successing over a situation that some lies and deceptiveness in a corporation institute say, and you are showing up these people and these lies and situation and they have been caught and you have no regrets you're ending the cycle you have no regrets you're ending the cycle and you're moving on in july going in august then i see you uh, um august some of you could be meeting a new love and in september i see an offer of uh, um love is coming to you i see an apology i see the universal angels and guides are going to be um healing a situation between you and a past love or bringing back um a child or a person or a loved one that was taken out of your life. I see the universal angel in the month of September is ill in the relationship between you and this child or between you and this ex or between you and this friend and an apology is coming in to you. So I see you moving forward, standing your ground and thinking, you know, did you people think that I was going to stand back and let you do this and lies and uh, uh, ruin my reputation? Hell no. And that's the Capricorn thing because you 
uh, Capricorns rule the house, the tent house of reputation. So you are not going to let people lie and, and ruin your reputation. And you don't even know these people just because of jealousy. Because obviously this is a situation that I see in this year is being um, settled because they find out about so many lies and deception that a woman has created this is an ear this is a fire sign woman and old Aries Leo Sagittarius have created some real lies and deception try to ruin your reputation and you're taking her down here we go ladies and gentlemen you're off to a new start in the month of October going in November you're off to a new start I see you stand in ground and you're off to a new start because there is someone that was coming to you um, like screaming at you and you're like, I don't think so. Oh, if you have a conversation, um, yeah, and, and, and you're like, really? Oh, please. No, Sech. And no. So you're victorious and successful over a situation where there was people lying and being deceiving and that sort of a thing. Now, here we go. Another fault person. Another fault person. And this, um, I don't read this as an energy. This, uh, as an energy. This is a person. This is a person that comes up. And the ladies and gentlemen, because I told you, I don't read like other readers. So. Um this person is an Aries Lee or Sagittarius, 45 years or older. Now, whoever this person is, they have done some, um, it, you're, you're clearing karmas, ladies and gentlemen. And this Aries Lee or Sagittarius, man, this is an older person. So it could be a father figure. It could be a business party. It could be just someone who you have known or what, however this person. But what you have, victory and success twice the energy of the chariot you're moving forward and you're moving these fire sign people out of the area because what is transpiring is that they have realized that this man and that old woman they could be a couple whatever that was transpiring in your life it could be issues with your father it could be issues with an old ex and whoever but let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen the last quarter you're taking people down and when people are coming at you screaming you're like stand back and looking at them and thinking are you serious are you really talking to me you're in the 10 house this is my house you ruin you don't ruin my reputation and this is how you are just looking and this person is in the reverse because you and this is what is coming up between you and this person november you have the chariot and you end december with the sun um, over this person who is reversed. So let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, whoever comes in your way, they need to back up in this year. And I told them, don't mess with a Capricorn. Don't mess with a Capricorn reputation because that's when you get a Capricorn mad. And I, you know, Capricorns, you are standing your grounds and you are moving. You're standing your grounds and you are moving and you're showing people, you know, don't ruin my reputation. You don't know me. Why would you? Because between this um, fire sign woman and this man, the lies. And you're like, uh, this is where I end this. It's not happening. Not on my watch. It ain't happening. Not on my watch because... Uh, um, don't ruin my reputation. I don't know you. And if I decide not to do something with you, that doesn't say you need to ruin my reputation. And I see, wow, you are standing up and you're for the people whose reputation was ruined. I see you standing up and you are taking down everything, the lies and deception. So your energy in this year, oh, your energy in this year is uh, twice victory and success moving forward some of you could be buying new cars i see a lot of people buying new cars because i see a new start with a new vehicle i see you're communicating because you're dealing with some sales people here you're trying to figure out what car you want i see the lies and deception it's like you're out rooting lies and deception in a corporation you are a redoing a corporation and outrooting lies and deception in a corporation okay and um this is going to be 
fabulous 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 okay fabulous in the month of January I see money coming in um, for you Capricorns okay so the Empress was here in the month of January I see money coming in for um, you Capricorns in the month of January okay what is happening here oh <laughs> I have my um, thing so oh what is happening okay uh, so money is coming out for you guys in the month of January a whole lot of money is coming in and um, because it's as if uh, um, some deceptiveness uh, was at play and I see money coming in uh, for you Capricorns okay so whatever was transpiring there was some money um, that was stolen to you I see in January this money is coming back to you I'm sorry my cards so let's see what's coming up for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising sign Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising sign so whatever was that was transpiring in the month of uh, um, December uh, January changes is coming up in february i see changes coming up in february whatever the issue the situation is i see changes because some of you are going to be receiving um some money i see you could be um receiving news of changes coming up in february so that is what the judgment call is about okay so um this is a weird one um so really weird <laughs> really 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 weird so I see a new invitation um, is going to be coming up for you so really weird okay a new invitation is going to be coming up for you so whatever is going on with a legal issue I see you receive a new invitation which is going to be coming up for you in the month of April I see you dealing with some emotional situation it has to do with outside forces deceptive people that is transpiring okay and um, that was where you know that is going to be very emotion uh, April for you people because there was some deceptive things at play in the month of uh, um, May I see the offer of a new job coming in um, I see that some of you they're going to be finding out that uh, someone you were working with in the past lies okay a whole lot of lies someone you were working with in the past a whole lot of lies and this woman um, could have been your colleague and a whole lot of lies and it's coming out in me in June I see you have a house you have luck with a house some of you are going to be receiving and you never knew that this house existed but it existed on your name and you weren't aware of it I see um, this some of you are buying a new house in um, in June okay I see some emotional situation with some of you would work um, in June but I see um, your colleague your um, yeah colleague lie but I see the truth is coming out success is here for you in the month of uh, july success is here for you and the end of a situation that was going on so a cyclist ending and you are going to be successful in july a cyclist ending and you're going to be very successful in july then we have multiple opportunities coming up for you in august i see a whole lot of doors are going to be opening for you guys in august and i see new love is coming in i see some of you could be asked to promote a car um i see some of you could be also being asked to promote some business okay so i see multiple opportunities is going to be coming in again some of you um i'm a man some of you are going to be having this new love a new man is coming in your life and this person is between the age of 18 and 45 it could be a Pisces that is going to be offering you love um whoever this new man is oh, he is 
is offering you love, but his eyes is out looking for something else. So if I were you, honestly, because it's not a year of love, in the month of, uh, it is a Pisces for some of you. Some of you is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Whoever this Pisces man is, you Capricorn, he is offering you love, but his eyes is on something else. I don't know if it's a married man or who, but his eyes is on something else. We're going to check out and see what he's up to. I see good news is coming in on, for a new start in October, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see good news is coming in for you guys in the month of October. I see you're going to be, um, people are going to be really um, having positive information and a new start is coming for you in October. I see you victorious and ov uh, um, <laughs> victoriously overcoming a situation with people in power lies and deceptiveness with people in power you're overcoming the situation and i see you're really moving out and being victorious over a situation with people in power and with an aries leo or sagittarius that has used their power against you deceptively accessing your information using your um your information and your powers that's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of weird. And what I'm seeing is that success, again, the end of the, the, the sun, success is coming. Double success is coming for you in December over this very deceptive man. It's like double success is coming in over this very deceptive man. Okay. All right, because I love you guys so much, but I haven't done this, so the other signs. But this Pisces, man, it's as if he's offering you love, but there's multiple opportunities. Uh, multi I don't know. And I, I told you guys, this year is going to be a year that you're focusing on yourself, building your business. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces, man, because this is definitely a Pisces, man. This Pisces, man is offering you love but his eyes is outside on something else don't 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 do this don't don't do this don't do this don't do this don't do this what is the message uh, yeah it's as if he's offering you love he wants a new start but he's looking all over the place all right so let's see what is the spices man for the capricorn in the month of September. It's like he's offering you love, but his eyes is outside. Okay? He wants a new start, but his eyes is still looking outside. What is this all about with this man? Is your soulmate? Bam. Shit. Conflicts. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. All right. Um, eight of Wands. A whole lot of message. Con conflicts. All right. So. All right. Um, all right, so what is happening in the month? And I haven't done this for anyone. And <laughs> other people are going to say, why well, don't do that? But it's in the extended reading. All right, in the month of September, um, whatever the issue is, I see I'm moving forward. But I see someone that is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, or someone is offering love. And I see it's as if your spirit guides are saying, I brought this person back in your life. But if you look at this man, he's not looking inwards to you. He's offering you love, but he's still looking outside if he can have a new start with someone else. Okay? Because he's looking outside. Um, all right. When it's here, he's looking inside. So for some of some of you, I think that some of some of you go ahead. But some of you know, because this man is, is asking for a new start, but he's still looking outside, okay? And I see the new start, and they're saying no, because it fell and say no, don't give him a new start. And it is a twin flame. Uh, but he's having some problem with a corporation. Like, he's having some problems at his work. It is a twin flame. But it's as if he's having some problems at his work. And he has been looking outside. So you could be in relationship with a Pisces. 
it is a twin flame person, but he wants a new start. But he's offering you love, but he's still looking to see if he can find someone outside. Let it be. Let it be. Tell him to move on. Let it be. Don't do it. Don't do it, Capricorn. I see a whole lot of conflicts with you and this man. This man is not really honest, um, Capricorn. Let it be. It is a Pisces, and it is as if you guys have been together for a very long time. It is really your twin flame. Really your twin flame. But I see this man having some situation with either his business, if he is a businessman, or at work, okay? But he is as if he lives with you, but and he's offering you love like, yeah. But outside... When he's not with you, his eyes is all over the place. Let him be there with his eyes all, all over the place. Seriously. It's really like someone that you live with. But when he's with you, it's like he's showing you love or and your thing, whatever, you know. But when he's not with you, his eyes is all over the place. There you can see it. And then he wants a new start. He's looking for a new start with someone else. So if you're living, living with a Pisces, be aware of this. If you're living with a Pisces between the ages of 18 and 45, and um, uh, he's offering you love, but not marriage. And no, because he's looking for someone new outside. But he's not going to get it because this fell down. Okay, so it's like he's holding you on a string, looking, and if you notice, he's looking outside. When I turn it around, it's like he's looking inwards to you for a new start. No, he's looking outside. He's looking outside, and he wants a new start with someone else. But then the new start fall in the reverse, that he's not meeting anyone. So it's like he holds you on a string because he's coming out of... Uh, um uh that is September the he in August. So you could be going on vacation with this person and his eyes is all over the place, but it is your twin flame. Um it could be your husband that you married to a Pisces, and it could be your husband, but I've seen him having problem with a corporation, and there's a lot of conflict. So whatever that is, and it is the end of September. End of September going in November. No, end of August going in um, September. And I see um, he's, he likes old you. You might be married to this person or you're in a relationship with this person, but it's really your twin flame or your soulmate. But it's like he holds you on a string so that he's, but he's looking outside for someone else. Okay, so you can see this. Here it is, this man. He wants a new start, but it's like he's looking outside for something else. And then the card fell, and it says, no, don't give him that new start, okay? So whoever this person is, because he's connected with some corporation or organization, this person is coming back in your life. Um, and let it go. All right? So we have the dragonfly for you Capricorns, which is good. Energy of the dragonfly, and we have the mutt, the mutt and the dragonfly. So let's see what is happening for you, Capricorns, with the mutt and the dragonfly in the year. Um, you know something, ladies and gentlemen. If you're in a relationship and someone cannot give you a word of what I want to do, and this person whoever this person is, it is your soulmate, but this person is playing a game. I would say to you, ladies and gentlemen, life, and I see that you guys are just, yeah, whatever. It's like the person is offering you love, but they're, but when you're not with them, it's like their eyes is all over. Let it go, baby girl, because you're much better than that, okay? Whoever you are, let it go. You're much better than that. All right, so we have the dragonfly master of light illusions and the mind okay so you guys are going to be really pumping um in this um year the dragonfly is an ancient and ethnic uh, creation that awakens a sense of wonder in all the dragonfly is a symbol of the mind as it is uh, always moving shifting shimmering and changing when the dragonfly 
appears it's worth it means considering the acquire the um the quality of your mind and perception are they reckless or still dreamlike or crystal clear the situation at and may be difficult than it appears to find the glance the dragon fire reminds us to calm the mind so that light of wisdom can shine true so when in balance clear joy and magical when in balance can't concentrate busy mind to bring this in focus focus on your breath focus on your breath okay let's see what the mutt is and this is um oh 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 oh, oh, oh the mutt this is the you guys have your earth energies this is an ear energy okay so you guys are this is the the year of here and you have hair energies that are helping you guys okay so this is good the month impulsive hasty wishful the mutt is sure the glass is greener on the other side the mutt energy is at play when we are attached to easy solution or anything shimmery and new this can lead to on finished project disappointment or um burnt out it helps to remind you and to perceive with life with complex no matter the illusion no one is expected from a trial and tribulation of this great journey practicing life as an infinity mystery rather than wishing it was easier or difficult okay balance with the and idealists when out of balance and um to um be in balance finish a project so i think some of you need to finish a project whatever is happening some of you really needs to finish a project wow i love your energies oh my god oh 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 yeah ladies it's not a year for love honestly i'm telling you the truth it is not a year for love the seven chakra is here archangel uriel is coming up so i did expect this for you guys because the seven chakra is here archangel uriel is coming up whatever is happening and transpiring so balance out yourself okay just balance out yourself dreams come true is here for you capricorn whatever is transpiring i see your dreams are going to be coming true in this year so whatever the energy and the situation is i see definitely that your dreams and wishes are coming true and this is going to be very powerful and positive for you in this year 2020 archangel uriel come up so the energy for you capricorn is to use archangel uriel archangel uriel is bringing you freedom in the year 2020 and trust me there is two energy the seven chakras archangel uriel and this also is archangel uriel coming up and bringing you freedom in this year so um i think you better free yourself from that pisces who is just sucking your energy because obviously that person has no um no um idea to keep going with you because he's the whoever the pisces is and it's coming up as a man um the pisces uh, is holding on to you until he finds someone new so ladies if eve is your soul friend or your twin flame don't let anyone use you you don't know, cut them off because that is just so deceptive because it's as if when you're at home and with him he's pretending that he's in love with you or nobody can spend their rest of their life in love with you people love you for who you are or not but this pisces is there and it's you're going to be finding this out in september um august september if you're going on vacation or what because you're going to be realizing that he's like holding on to your hands but yet still he's looking for something new out there let it go let you know just just let go his hands and let him go find it because he's not going to find it because you saw um the card fell down and you see that he's not going to find 
someone to have a new beginning with so you know that is it this this type of the people let them go and and just move on with your life trust me when you let go a loser like that someone who loves you and care about you will return and I, some of it is it could be your husband but this person could have been your twin flame or soulmate also but he is looking outside he's kind of giving you but he's basically holding on in your hands so he might be telling you Oh, um, I love you and whatever, whatever. But no, he's just holding on to you until he finds someone new. But he could leave you in the month of September and it don't work out and he's going to want to come back. No, nope. no. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Freedom. The drawing of this card illuminate that the Oracle is asking you to free up with your thinking and feelings. For you are the only jailer of your keeper of consciousness and prison. Every aspect of your consciousness is a choice. And if you have made an accurate choice, choose again. If you have made an incorrect choice with this man or whatever situation in your life, choose again. Okay? That is the meaning of the word mistake. <laughs> If this is what you missed, take again. The time by liberating the conviction of your love and for yourself. You will spring your soul from its prison. Because sometimes we love people and hold on on people. When they don't love us and don't hold on us, they only hold on on us until they find a new person. So this is exactly what is happening here. Ask Archangel Uriel to show you alternative chances because they do resonate of pure love. They will also free you from the thoughts of you being in, trapped in a relationship or in jail and take you to consequences where you can free yourself. Archangel Uriel wants you to chant, Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey, it is H-E-E, -E, okay? Place it in your forehead or this uh, of a vertical throat chakra, eye chakra, six chakra. Guidance is emitted and once more, you will dance with infinity. So ladies and gentlemen, don't let anyone use you. Um, You know, trust me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if, and, and you know, you're Capricorn, so, and I, and I know you Capricorn women, but sometimes Capricorns, women, you will hold on on someone, even though you see the, the negative side of the people, even when you know that someone is lying to you, but because you care about them, you know, it's time for you to cut this person loose because this person is just don't let people, I, you know, I it just despise me people who use other people. And uh, this person is like they're looking for something better. And there's nothing, I, you know, you know, what I'm seeing and whoever this reading is for, they are looking for something new. But as I turned the card around, it fell in the reverse. So if either you have an husband that is a Pisces or you're married to a Pisces or you're in a soulmate relationship or a twin flame relationship, he leaves you for something. The relationship is not going to work out. He's going to want to return to you. No. End it. I love you guys. Check out the extended reading, Miskin. There's more about it. I don't remember what's in it. I love you guys. Namaste. Thank you.